I've been selling my soul, working all day. Oh yeah, this is my jam, man. What's this song right there you're singing? Florida man, you haven't heard rich men north of Richmond? How's that possible? It's basically the lament of a blue collar worker who's been screwed over by politicians in DC, i.e. north of Richmond. A little reminder of those who have gotten wealthy through politics while the working class, like Oliver Anthony, suffer. See, politicians' salaries are pretty good, but not enough to make anyone a multi-millionaire. The average salary for mayors across the US is $56,000, with only a few big outliers in the world's biggest cities getting between 200 and 300,000. State legislators who work full-time make an average of 75,415. Congress, that's both the Senate and the House, pays members a base salary of 175,000 a year. And of course, the president is paid 400,000 a year, with the VP making $235,100 a year. That's a lot of money to be paid for insanely low approval ratings. Plus, in many cases, a politician's transportation, flight, food, etc. are paid for, particularly when they're campaigning. So politicians are doing pretty well, especially at the federal level, in spite of complaints to the contrary. Yeah, like AOC who thinks she should be paid more. She makes 175 grand a year but can't figure out how to pay back her student loans. Yeah, that kid should definitely run the economy. But if salaries are between 125,000 and 400,000, how are a majority of congressmen millionaires? The poorest of the 50 wealthiest members of Congress have a net worth of over $10 million, with Florida man Rick Scott at the top of the list at almost 300 million. That's a lot of alligator. Oh wow, Florida man, you really know your stuff. And my gator knows it too. So your gator will know that a huge percentage of congressmen start out extremely wealthy. And the congressional salaries aren't even much of a draw. Others, like John Kerry, married into great wealth. But actions that most of us would consider corrupt, even though they're not technically illegal, also play a significant role. For example, for most of US history, there have been few laws or even rules of decorum preventing congressmen from engaging in stock market trades using their insider knowledge of new laws. You know, what we would normally call insider trading. Sounds like we should all get into politics, huh? If we had that kind of congressional dough, we could buy our own island. But not the kind of island Oliver Anthony's singing about. Yeah, but if we really were in Congress, we might. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more educational cartoons. We drop one every two weeks. Boy, oh boy, do we love doing it. So you subscribe so we can continue. Thank you.